Good morning, boys and girls. It's Friday. I am so grateful for you. I'm wearing my grateful shirt, my gratitude shirt, I should say, because I am grateful for you and have so much gratitude towards everything that I am able to do for you. And today, boys and girls, we're going to write, read a story. I'm going to read to you a story about Jesus and how he was walking around everywhere and he was telling people about who he was and so boys and girls there were many people that did not believe that he was who he was saying right that he was they were just saying well this is just a regular man however because he was walking around with his disciples his disciples were also trying to explain to everybody who he was and and trying to convince everybody how um how they should really believe in this person that they were walking with which was jesus right but because he looked like a normal man nobody would believe they were saying how can i believe that he is different from this other disciple right so it was a little bit hard for Jesus to prove to everybody at first, but then God started giving him the power to do things, right? And miracles. And he would um, do some amazing things that then people believed that he was truly um, Jesus and that he was on earth to later die for our sins, right? So boys and girls, one day when Jesus was, was in Canaan, a place called Canaan, he actually went to a wedding. And like I said, he had to prove himself with um, the miracles that he was able to do through God. So one day he was in Canaan along with his disciples and disciples mean, it means that they were people also that were telling others about Jesus about God, right? The good news. And, um, and they went to a wedding and when they were celebrating, everybody was happy and they were eating and they were enjoying themselves at the beautiful wedding in Canaan. And all of a sudden, um, boys and girls back when, um, in Jesus's day, um, they, in parties and celebrations, they would sometimes celebrate with wine because that was what they would drink. And so one of the first miracles that, that Jesus had to um, do in order for the people to believe that he was truly who he said he was, is that when they were at the wedding, that was the first miracle that actually Jesus performed. He, he said, um, bring me the jugs of water. So you see the jugs of water there. And he told um, one of the disciples, he said, go and fill up all of the big jugs with water, just plain water. And then he, he did because Mary told him, just do what Jesus is saying to do. He's asking you to do that and follow and um, be obedient to him and do what he's telling you. So go and fill the jugs with water. So everybody was wondering, what is he talking about? But we're going to do what he's asking us to do. So they filled up all the jugs with water, boys and girls. And then Jesus said to one of the disciples, go and take the go and take some a cup filled with whatever you pour from the jug take it to the person that made this beautiful wedding this party and the guy was confused right the disciple he's like why is jesus wanting me to take this to the person that's making the party it was kind of embarrassing when they would run out of wine that's what the bible says but he did what he, what Jesus asked him to do. He took the cup filled of water, what he poured into from the jug, and he gave it to him, the owner of the, whoever made the party. And when he drank it, guess what it was? It was wine. Jesus had performed a miracle, boys and girls. He turned regular water into wine. And when the owner, the one that, that made the party, he said, he drank it, he said, oh my goodness, 
this wine is a good wine. He was surprised that instead of having water to drink, he drank wine, boys and girls. He took a sip of the wine and he told everybody that was a miracle that Jesus performed. So from that point on, those people that saw what happened, not everyone saw what happened, only some disciples and Mary and Jesus, of course, because he's the one that performed the miracle. And Jesus actually said, don't tell anybody. It was kind of like a secret, but everyone else, right? They, they really didn't know that they had run out of wine, but everybody else that saw and those few people knew that he was Jesus by what he had done. So boys and girls, this is the picture of how one of the disciples is pouring regular water into the jugs, right? And then Jesus, Jesus actually right there, he turned, you see, he turned that water into wine, boys and girls. Isn't that a miracle? That was one of the miracles that, that Jesus did. So he could let everyone, he could show everyone that through God, right? Through God, he had that power to do things like that, right? And so, but he only was able to do it when God was telling him to, right? So very good. It's in God's timing, like it is now, right? It's all in God's timing. You get to color the picture, boys and girls, by looking at the shapes. You see, just like we've done with other pictures, and you match the color to the shape, and you color it nicely. You can take your time and do it. Just for example, I will give you an example here. I have um, a right here. Look at the green. What color, what shape is that? That is like a diamond, right? So I'm going to choose green and I'm going to look for a diamond, which is the top, the head, the hat of this man here. You see that? It is all green because it is a diamond. You choose your colors carefully and you color it nicely, better than I do, right? And then you can tell your friends and your, you can tell your mommy and daddy about the picture and the miracle that God performed, right? And through right? Jesus did it through God, right? Okay. I hope you like the story and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and you will enjoy this paper while you color. Okay. I love you. And before we leave, we will just close in prayer. So bow your head, boys and girls, please, and pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for another week, Lord. Please bless the students and their parents, God, and just help them to have a restful weekend. I am grateful for all of them, Lord, and I just um, ask that you continue to bless them. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, boys and girls, thank you for um, being so wonderful, and, and um, you have a wonderful day and a great weekend. Okay, bye-bye. I love you.